Hello, today I'm going to teach you how to solve the 2 by 2 Rubik's Cube, also known as a Rubik's Pocket Cube. First of all, the move notation, which is basically the same as with a 3 by 3 This side is called the front side, which will be denoted by an F. This side is called the back side, which will be denoted by a B. This side is called the upside, which will be denoted by a U. This side is called the downside, which will be denoted by a D. This side is called the left side, which will be denoted by an L. And this side is called the R side, which will be denoted by an R. Um, if ever you see one of those letters, it means you move that side um, clockwise, as though you're facing it. So U would be this. L will be this, etc, etc. Now, with an I behind it, it means you move that face anti-clockwise is where you're facing it. For example, UI would be this, etc, etc. And with a 2 in front of it, it means you move that face 180 degrees. So, 2 U would be that, 2 L would be this, and 2 R would be this etc etc you will uh, use these moves in what's called an algorithm which is basically a move and if you do it enough times it'll the cube will come back to its original position and it will also help you solve the cube without undoing what's already done now you know the move notation we can start by scrambling it now in the first step in solving the two by two we're gonna make um we're gonna solve the first side and the first layer now we're gonna start with the white side now we're gonna take any piece that goes on either side of this one For example this one and we're gonna put it in position so that when we bring it down it lines up you see we can't put it here because it won't line up so we're gonna put it here so that when we bring it down it lines up. Now, are we going to take another piece that goes here? For example, this one. Here, we're going to put it in position so that when we bring it down, it lines up. So, like this. Now, the last the last piece, we're going to use a really short algorithm which goes R, U, R, I, U, I. Now you might have to do it several times like this. R U R U I R U R U I. So now it's in position. Now in the next step, are we gonna do what's called orienting the last layer, which is basically solving the entire top face but not um, with a lay top layer matching up. Now in this case we have no yellow pieces. Why yellow pieces? Because yellow is the opposite colour of the side we've just solved. So we just do the algorithm. R U R I U R two U R I U. And now we've got two yellow pieces. Now if you've got two yellow pieces, put the cube in position so that there is a yellow piece on the upper left of the front side and then just do that algorithm again R U R I U R 2 U R I now we have one and just position that so that it's the lower left of the top face and then just do the algorithm again R U R I U R 2 U R I and now you've still got one again and you just position it and do the algorithm again now, you have the entire top face done. Now we're going to do what's called permuting the last layer. Um, we're going to look around the cube to see if there are two pieces of the same colour next to each other. Now, if there aren't, you're just going to do uh, the same algorithm as when there are. When there are, put it so that it's in the back face and just do the algorithm. R I F R 2 B R F I R to B to R and now we've got the entire cube solved if ever you didn't have two um, con uh, two pieces with the same color you'd 
uh, have done that algorithm, then you would have had two pieces of the same color. And then you just would have had to do the same algorithm again with the two pieces on the back face, and then you would have solved the cube. I hope that helps. Thank you.